guys, King Sports Athlete Curtis here to give you another review on a product I'm using. Um, well, actually, two products today. Um, I've been stacking these ones together for pro probably about a month um, and just basically trying to record the results that I've been getting. Um, so, what I've been using is two GAT products. One of them is Adenoflex, and the other one's uh, Jet Mass. Now, the Jet Mass, it's, it's marketed as a post-workout supplement, um, creatine based. Uh, but if you have a quick look through the ingredients, as soon as you have a look at them, you'll find that it's, it's um, a pretty well all-rounded product. Um, so to start off, you've got like six different types of creatine in there. Um, and that's just in their, their first little blend. And then you're going through... Um, insulin stabilizers or blood sugar stabilizers should I say um, the main one that attracts me is the cinnamon bark extract um, I love cinnamon bark or any type of cinnamon um, extract in a product uh, just especially one that's got carbohydrates in it because it helps keep um, the blood sugar levels normal helps shuttle that carbohydrate the way you want it to go um, so for the next part um, they've got right through, they've got all your branch chain amino acids, um, <clears throat> they've got other amino acids as well, um, and the most impressive thing that they've got in here, um, amongst that, that portion is, um, caprosses, which what they state as, um, it's a really, really powerful antioxidant, which is important when you're putting a lot of amino acids and you're putting a lot of other ingredients, uh, into your body. Um, the, the antioxidants are what helps break away or get rid of free radicals which you may get through you know poor diet or um, other supplements or taking too too large amount of supplements um, or like I said poor diet and so for the next portion um, this is what they state as their anabolic growth or anti-catabolic matrix um, and that's just going through like glutamine peptides uh, CLA um, they've got arginine in there as well, um, and they've actually got GABA in here as well. Um, so it's a pretty extensive um, amount of ingredients that they put into this one. It's very hard to call it just a creatine supplement. Um, and the other thing is carbohydrates, 13 grams per serving. So for a post-workout, post yeah, that's going to be awesome. Um, for me, I've been using it as intra. Um, Everyone else I've talked to, they've been using it as post workout, uh, but they they state for on the on the container they state for both post and and intra. So I've been using it as an intra workout um, and and taking those carbohydrates into account and replacing it with my other uh, car products. Um, now, as far as results go, um, it's hard to say for this exact product because I've been stacking it with um, a Dinoflex. Um, but grouped together, I've been getting great results. Um, my strength has gone up. My recovery has been the most notable thing. Um, and what I don't understand is normal creatine monohydrates that of or any other creatine product that I've had in the past, um, it's just given me extreme stomach discomfort to the point where I have to t stop taking the product. Um, and I never really did notice any any difference um, physically from um, creatine full stop. So I don't know whether it's a combination of all the other the ingredients um, and the carbohydrates that they're putting in there too that's giving me uh, such good results or the, the stack of six different types of creatine that they put in there that's making it uh, more bioavailable to my body or, or what it is. But I know it's working so... Um, really enjoying it right now. As for Adenoflex, they they have this one basically marketed the same way as their post workout, um, purely because they chuck in some agmatine sulfate, um, a solic acid, um, betaine, and creatine monohydrate as well. It's an entire blend um, of maybe five to six different ingredients. But the main thing I like about this one is they put 250, uh, 200 micrograms of chromium in there. 
Um, and chromium is actually a chromium or alpha lipoic acid, at their glucose disposal agent. So uh, if you're having carbohydrates post-workout, especially uh, obviously the jet mass, you're taking them both post-workout, um, they're going to help stabilize those blood sugar levels um, and just force it into the muscle you've trained. So it's going to be replacing everything that you've just spent in the gym, which is essentially what you're going to be wanting to do adding in any carbohydrates after after a training session. Uh, now for jet mass, I've got the orange cream. I haven't even bothered trying any other tastes, any other flavors because this tastes incredible. Um, it's the best tasting supplement I can say hands down that I've had. Um, value quite good. Uh, they're large, large servings. Like I said, it's a, it's a packed product, man. So you're getting 40 servings um, in about, what is it, 820 grams, yeah, 820 grams, you're getting 40 servings um, out of a product like this, quite good value, and then out of your Adeno Flex, uh, you're getting 30 servings in a 10 gram scoop. Um, so for both of these ones, guys, um, I recommend stacking them together, that's the way I've used it, and that's how I've, I've got my results. Um, and I found it to be most most beneficial when I use the and Dinoflex post workout, uh, and I use the Jet Mast in, in intra workout. So um, check out them in your local store. Uh, give them a try and see how how the results are for you guys. Um, I'll be also chucking up um, another review uh, to do with some of the the other products that Gat have just to do with their creatine on their own. Um, and I'll let you guys know how I'll go with that one too. Thanks guys.